In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to put a brand new clutch on your mini bike. So I'm rebuilding this mini bike right here and need to put on a new clutch because I burned the clutch out on the other go-kart with like pulling a trailer. If you didn't see that, go to my shorts and find it. I pulled a trailer, a 16-foot trailer with that go-kart right there. So if you want to see that, go over to my shorts and look for it. So I'm going to be putting on a clutch today. And if you want to put on a new clutch, you have to buy yourself one. So I went over to Amazon, bought this thing for it was like 30 bucks shipped to your house. So it comes with your clutch. Nice clutch. Comes with your keyway inside. I use this one on a other go kart too. It work perfectly fine. Let's see what, what comes in the hardware. So you get a big washer to put on the shaft, and then a lock washer and your bolt. I don't know what this thing is for. If you find if you have a clutch like this or bought a kit. And you have this thing tell me what it's for in the comments and then one of these uh, master links for the chain got the chain right here oh yeah brother look at that brand new all lubed up oh. so let's turn this thing around Let me get the engine bolted down. It's still loose a little bit. So I'm gonna bolt it down. So to put your clutch on, you take your clutch, throw that thing on there. I'm putting the side that has the sprocket to the engine because it lines up. Put your clutch on there. And then you take your washer, and then you put your lock washer with your bolt. You need a half inch socket to do this. Screw that on there. And then you take your socket, you just that's probably tight enough. And then, you take your chain, it comes with a master link in it, right in there. You take the master link out, take your chain, this is a long chain. Take it, and then, You wrap the chain through the back, and then you route it through there, and then you want your chain to be like on. So you can see right there, it's like it drops in. You want to take the link that comes to there. So, well, you would have to buy a half link to put in there, but I don't want to do that. So I'm probably going to like make the chain longer to like, there that's pretty loose but if i put the chain tension on there which i'm gonna have a video coming out next of putting a chain tension on there it should work so let's now go 
and cut the chain right there. Take this thing, put it through the back. That, and then take this washer, put it on there, and then put this thing like so. The chain goes this way. So if this gets like hit right there, it will pop right off. So if the chain is going and it gets hit, it will pop this thing off. So you want to put it on there that the chain would go this way and the loop is like closed. On that way, so I just put this on like that, and then take a flathead screwdriver, put it in there, just pop it into place, and that's how you put your clutch on and your chain. And in the next video, I'm gonna be telling you how to put a chain tension on here that keeps the chain tight. If like it goes like this, it keeps it tight. If it's stretched, it keeps it tight. It do You don't have to adjust it. It's always tight. So stay tuned for that. It's probably gonna come out next week, seven days from when this video drops. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe. And yeah, let's get it. Let's hit 150 subscribers by, I don't know, but let's hit 200 subscribers by the end of this year. So share it with your buddies. If they have to uh, put a clutch on like this, share it with your buddies. And I'll put the link to this clutch in the description where you can find it and buy it. And yeah. So stay tuned for more videos. In the next video, I'm gonna put some uh, chain tensioner rollers on here. So thanks guys for watching and peace out.